Hey everyone, this is David Nguyen, your Sophos product manager here at Blue Chip Infotech, your trusted IT distributor down under inside of Australia. I'm so excited to bring you guys today's video because we have the full Sophos network offering, the Sophos full network stack. And even better, we have a legendary guest of us, senior sales engineer, George Alexandridis, who's been with Sophos for seven years. He's gonna give us the nitty gritty on what's going on. George, how are you doing and what do we have in front of us today? Uh, going well, David, thank you for having me here. So what we have here today is we've got every component of the Sophos offering uh, to create a full network stack. Um, everything an organization needs to run a secure network um, under one vendor. Now that ranges from having an XG firewall to an SD red for remote office uh, location and to be able to remotely access them back to the main office. We've also got access points and not only that, but we do have our uh, Sophos switches. And that's what makes the networking offering so complete. Awesome, thanks George. And that's all handled and managed under one central cloud console, right? Uh, that's right, David. Everything here that you see here can be managed through Sophos Central. Um, we'll pop into the uh, console later on throughout the video and I'll give you a quick tour and so stick around. Look, let's start right at the top. These are the super popular XGS series firewalls, which are coming from the Sophos networking range. Of course, we've got the 100 series models here, the XGS 126. We've also got an XGS 2100 series device as well. And the 100 series is really, really popular nowadays, simply because it supports those low density environments, those small offices, those home offices. And a very popular accessory that people often usually get with them is the 3G, 4G failover module, which it allows you to insert a 3G, 4G SIM card into the back of the device, plug it straight in, and you're covered for those network outages in the case that there is one. Keeps your business up and running. We also have a bigger version, the XGS 2100, of course, which it allows you to support more throughput, you know, more uh, ports. Overall, it's got 18 ports, and you can check the video description in the links below uh, so that you can see the data sheets about that. But George, there are some bigger units that Sophos are bringing out what do we have an offer yeah, for? Yeah, ab absolutely, they are, David. Um, Sophos is offering two unit kits for the mid-market and, and large enterprise organizations, which are the XGS 5500s and the XGS 6500. We're even creating bigger units, such as the XGS 7000 and the XGS 8000 models to accommodate customers with high performance and high availability requirements. And these by far are the most popular products in the networking portfolio. What sets them apart? Uh, and, and you're right, David, they are the most popular in our networking portfolio. Each XCS series has a two heartbeat at its core. We have a high performance x86 CPU and an uh, extreme flow processor to accelerate application by offloading the security verified and trusted traffic to the fast path. Not only that, but we also have other features such as advanced web protection, deep packet inspection. We do have web, web and application protection. Not only that, but you know our synchronized security story from that and we also do have zero day protection with uh, cloud sandboxing but the most important thing here is also to make you all aware that we're providing a lot of our customers with the latest SD-WAN capabilities. Great, George version 19 the operating system was just released right? Absolutely, uh, V19 was just recently re released uh, a couple of weeks back. Uh, we're expanding on our SD-WAN technologies and other enhancements in, which include SD-WAN profiling uh, performance-based link management, uh, extreme fast bus acceleration for IPsec tunnel traffic. Awesome. And you can run the XGS series of devices inside of uh, Azure and AWS virtually, right? Uh, absolutely. And now available in Azure and AWS. Uh, please reach out to Bluechip for more information. Awesome, George. And uh, once again, for all of those MSP Flex partners out there who do want to license these both virtually and as hardware as a monthly licensing subscription, you absolutely can via the MSP Flex program. So make sure to talk to your Sophos account manager or your Bluetooth account manager and we will help you get started. George, what's next? So in front of us, we have the REDs, um, Red Internet Devices. I want you to think of these as the edge devices uh, that for remote locations. It's a simple solution to extend your network across to, to your remote locations and to your remote branch offices. They come in two models, SD Red 20s and SD Red 60s. Uh, today on display, we have the SD Red 20s. Um, the beauty of these, David, is that they can be managed through the Sophos firewall. 
Awesome, George. And these are my favorite underrated warriors, to be honest. A plug and play solution in order to get those remote sites up and running in a complete breeze. As you mentioned before, this is the SD Red 20. It's the smaller model of the two. It has a 250 megabyte throughput. And of course, there is the SD Red 60, which has an 850 megabyte throughput and two PoE ports in the case you want to power some devices. We have external accessories such as a Wi Fi card, for example, that allows you to plug that in and get the ease of accessibility. But that's really about it. They're that that simple. Let's move on to our wireless access points, the APX series devices. Next in front of us, we have the APX access points, which are a great option for indoor and outdoor internet coverage. The one that we've got on display, um, again, that I, as I pointed, uh, we have the APX320, which is can be wall mounted, um, and it's an all purpose access point for mid size organization. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do with it. Most importantly, you can configure corporate and um, guest wireless access quickly and easily. Not only that, but it also supports PoE injection or you know, PoE, power over internet, on these devices. There is a wireless access point uh, for outdoor, which is known as the APX320X. All, the, all of these APXs can be managed through the Cyphos firewall or through Cyphos Central for and that allows our customers to take full advantage of the SOFO security heartbeat. Now, similar to the features of the, of the uh, a firewall, this functionality allows us to mo centrally monitor uh, the health status of all the endpoints and uh, devices on your network and automatically isolate them if they deem to be a security risk within your network. That's awesome, George like a really great tool inside of your arsenal that just automatically works for you, especially when you're trying to cover a network like that. Like you mentioned, these are a mid-tier solution, it's the APX320, but there's a whole range starting from the APX120, which is a two by two uh, solution for those smaller capacity environments, such as a, a home office or a small, small office, something like that. There's also, uh, we would move then up to the APX320, which is this one, the indoor and the outdoor model. There's also the three by three solutions, antenna solutions, which is the the APX 530 for very versatile office scenarios. The flagship model is the APX 740, which is that 4x4 antenna solution for super high capacity, high density scenarios. And if you're looking for Wi-Fi 6 access points, those are coming real soon, so do watch the space. Sophos has just announced those recently at the time of this video. And uh, one more bonus I think everyone will like is there's no additional licensing requirements. Managing these via Sophos Central is completely free, and of course, wireless protection is already baked into every file will purchase. That's really about it. Let's move on to the Sophos switches. Last but not least, the 100 series 24 port PoE model. The 100 series provides us with one gigabit uplink to SFP and a 10 gigabit uplink for SFP+. Now all our Sophos switches are cloud managed and are, and are also network layered switches, which gives the flexibility to our customers to go out and connect power and control devices on the LAN edge. The lineup has eight 24 and 48 port options so that you can kit out your network with whatever you need. PUE or without PUE, it's really a bonus. So if you want to check the video description below, we have a model comparison actually, where we uh, looked at all of the models and of course unboxed them. So George, what's the difference between the 100 series devices we have in front of us and the 200 series switches that were just released recently? Well, David, the 200 series uh, have a 2.5 gigabit connection for compatibility with Wi-Fi 6 access and, of course, higher throughput uh, requirements. Just to wrap up, uh, once again, all our switches are managed through the cloud through Sophos Central, where system administrators can get full visibility of the switches' statuses, be able to create and edit a VLAN, and be able to do some diagnostics in one spot. Amazing, George. That's about it for the lineup. Do you mind if we take a quick peek at Sofa Central? Absolutely. Let's take a dive into Sofa Central. This is what the Sofa Central portal looks like. This is the main dashboard as you log into the portal. It gives you a lot of information um, from a summary point of view of exactly what's going on within your environment. On the left hand side, um, you'll be able to see uh, a number of product sets uh, and depending on what you've, uh, you know, you've got um, Sophos is able to manage all the products that you see on the left hand side. But the most important thing today is guys that we're, we're focusing on the ones that we've spoken today from the network stack, which is basically the man firewall management, uh, wireless and um, switches. And what we're going to do now is just going to dive into the firewall management first. And as you can see there, we've got uh, some visibility and alerting uh, information as from the dashboard. 
But from there, can, can you see on the left-hand side that we've got a, a number of reporting generated reports for, your, for you as your customers or for you as a partner? and also the ability to set up uh, firewalls and be able to do backups and so forth. Now, when, when we look at firewalls, you can manage multiple firewalls from here. Um, and as David mentioned, we're on version 19. This model here that you're looking at today will be the uh, XGS136, which is one of the 100 series, uh, again, what uh, David had mentioned. Uh, to access the portal uh, or the firewall, all you, all you need to do is click on Manage Firewall. Once you're in the dashboard, um, it, we give you full uh, visibility. Uh, we call it the control center. It gives you an understanding of the health of the firewall. It gives you an understanding of the, the processes and CPUs being used by the actual firewall. But not only that, but it provides you with enough information to understand what applications are being accessed. Um, looking at the security heartbeat environment, not only that, but also the ability when, uh, when you have users accessing a cloud sandboxing technology, being able to provide you with the detailed information of what's been accessed, what's been scanned. And, and in, or when we look at the left-hand side of this, uh, you can see that there's a number of protection layers from web application, email, web server protection. Not only that, but we also provide you with the latest advanced threat protection. In saying that also, like any other viral, we also have the VPN connections and routing and authentication for you. Not only that, but it gives you the ability to register the firewalls across into Sophos Central. As you can see here, we've got the ability to do synchronized security from an application level to an endpoint level, but also be able to register the devices within Central and pull the telemetry of reporting back into the uh, central console. Let's move away from that um, and let's go back into the central console. Back into the main central portal. Let's go to the main dashboard area and let's have a quick look at these wireless access points. Now ac accessing uh, or registering a, a wireless access point is nice and simple. All you need to do is just go to the access points uh, tab or menu and click on the register and it's just a matter of plugging the device in taking the serial number and registering it with Sophos. And as you can see here, we've got two already built in. One's uh, an APX320 and an APX350 that are currently online, giving you access to the bands of five gigahertz to 2.5 gigahertz. But when it comes to basically giving you the detailed security, um, we have the ability to provide you with that synchronized security story that we mentioned earlier. Now, as you can see there, healthy uh, heartbeats to an amber heartbeat to a red heartbeat, which means that something has given us a security risk within our, in your environment to isolate that machine and then restore it back into a normal state shortly. Now, moving along, um, not only that, but we'll give you visibility of all your devices that are registered um, and giving you insight to the usage of what they're actually doing and where the categories of what they're accessing on the on your Wi-Fi. Let's move away from that and let's go to the last piece um, which is our software switches. Again um, adding a switch is nice and simple it's just a matter of plugging it in waiting a couple of seconds putting the serial number in once you've registered it will register and as you can see here I've got the uh, eight port switch PoE uh, model um, all we need to do now is basically have a quick look at what it looks like um, and basically give you some insight. From here, from the dashboard, you get some really good summary of the model, the MAC address, uh, what ports have been accessed, the connection usage, what PoE injection uh, watts you have. But as, as I said earlier, with the administrator being able to have visibility of all their uh, switches, but also the ability to create and edit uh, VLANs on, on the fly. But not, not only that, but makes it nice and simple for all, all your administrators. When a port has been registered and they want to know which port has access to which, you can modify it like your, I have done here to show you which, what is plugged in. From here, you can actually look at the flow controls and enable them and update them accordingly. Um, and that will update that in, in milliseconds and give you the ability to diagnose these uh, switches um, immediately if there is any concerns. Again, once again, all these are managed through Sophos Central 
Um, and over to you, David. Awesome, George. I think it's time to wrap up. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sophos full network stack is fantastic for all of those networking and security scenarios where you need everything under one vendor for your full compatibility, access, and security scenarios. If you want more information on the product lineup, make sure to check the video link in the description below for more of those data sheets, web pages, and everything we talked about today. Make sure to also visit our one-stop blue chip shop for all of your latest product info, promotions, and those uh, stock updates that we always give you. If you like our content and you want to see more, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us what you want to see next on the Soft's portfolio. And I think that's about it. Thanks, George, for all of your time today. We will see you all next time. Thank you, David. Thank you, everyone. See you all next time.